so good morning <clears throat> well um, now we were discussing uh, lgbt uh, the expansion of lgbt is as we said uh, it's lesbian gay uh, bisexual and transgender and there's also another term here uh, in connection with lgbt that is queer that's an adjective used by some people uh, whose sexual orientation is not exclusively heterosexual. So I have to tell you that uh, uh, heterosexual uh, uh, is uh, considered as uh, the normal thing in the present society, or uh, in the then society. And uh, people are sexually or romantically attracted to people of the opposite sex. Got it. That is what we meant by heterosexual. And heterosexual men are sexually or romantically attracted to a woman. And heterosexual women are sexually or romantically attracted to men. So this is the common thing. This is the very normal thing. And uh, the very opposite of heterosexuality is homosexuality. And uh, in fact, that is uh, considered as a, uh, a crime or an abnormal thing. So... Uh, see the homosexuality is uh, we know sexual interest in and attraction to members of one's own sex the term gay is frequently used as a synonym for homosexual because female homosexuality is often referred to as a lesbianism so we have explicated the term gay and lesbianism uh, so far now uh, so i hope it's clear right so heterosexuality and homosexuality so these uh, these terms are really important uh, as far as this uh, palm is concerned, got it. Limocop, so what it's like to be a transgender. <clears throat> and uh, have I given you the importance of, or uh, the trans uh, differences between transgender and uh, transsexual? Anyway, let me give you that uh, uh, transgender. Uh, before that, uh, sex and gender can be considered in a biological and cultural way. That biological sex refers to a person's anatomy. Typically, a biological uh, person has a penis and a testis. A female has a vagina and ovaries. That's a very normal thing. But uh, uh, let me try to explicate the term transgender. What is a transgender? I have given you the example that Chantu put to that example uh, as a film. The word transgender refers to people who identify differently from their biological sex. For example, a transgender person who is biologically female may feel that a male identity is a better fit and to take the following steps like uh, use a male name instead of a female name as far as that uh, a film is concerned uh, use a female name instead of a uh, male name right to use a uh, female pronouns uh, uh, instead of a male pronouns uh, dress as a woman uh, engage in activities that are typically associated with um, uh, women in that culture and uh, uh, hope you know the uh, experiences and uh, the events that occurred in the film right you will have lots of examples there uh, so this is what's happening there as far as that character that uh, particular character is concerned okay so transgender and what is a transsexual uh, uh, i would like to drag you to the uh, uh, Film, Nyan uh, Merikuti. Transsexual is a person who typically transitions, uh, who physically transitions from a male to female or vice versa. A physical transition uh, has been done. Uh, he or she might take hormones to suppress the characteristics of the biological gender or promote the characteristics of the desired gender. <laughs> so she was uh, uh, born as a male here. Uh, he was then as a male, uh, but uh, uh, his uh, sexual orientation is uh, female, uh, so uh, he wanted to change uh, uh, his uh, physique or biological gender uh, to promote the characteristics of the desired gender. What is uh, his desired gender? That is female, feminine, right? Feminine qualities were there. So in this way, transsexuals can control to some extent traits like facial hair, breast development, uh, etc. Uh, I hope you have seen that movie, like uh, there was a conversation, like a dialogue, like I'm not a transgender, I'm a transsexual. So that explicit uh, dialogue was there in the film, right? So that uh, organs, uh, male organs or female organs uh, would be changed. Got it? Uh, so uh, these are the basic differences between transsexual and uh, transgender. I hope it is clear, right? 
now let's move to uh, some uh, legal uh, things uh, uh, as far as the usa is concerned <laughs> so in fact uh, uh, lee mokoba uh, was an american based uh, uh, black poet uh, so lesbian gay bisexual and transgender that is by lgbt uh, that a writer of the united states of evolved significantly over the time prior to 1962 all 50 states criminalized the same sex sexual activity i have told you that it was uh, considered as an illegal or a crime then but by 2015 that's uh, that's a noted point here by 2015 lgbt americans had one the right to marry nationwide additionally in many states and municipalities lgbt americans are legally protected from discrimination in employment housing and access to public accommodations uh, though lgbt americans still lack comprehensive legal protections from discrimination at the federal level so that is a noted point in 2015 uh, things got changed uh, but uh, in 62 to uh, prior to 62 uh, all 50 states criminalized same sex that is homosexuality homosexuality was a criminal then in the society got it so what happens in india let me tell you that on uh, 6th september 2018 2000, in 2015, in uh, as far as uh, America is concerned, it is 2015, but India is concerned, it is 2018. The Supreme Court issued uh, the verdict. It's a it's a historical verdict. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, the court unanimously ruled that uh, Section 377 is unconstitutional as it infringed on the fundamental rights of autonomy, intimacy, and identity that uh, uh, they are denying they are denying the 337 constitution amendment the fundamental rights that they are denied the fundamental rights these are uh, these marginalized people like lgbt okay lesbian gay bisexual and transgenders and uh, transsexuals so they are denied the fundamental rights of autonomy intimacy and identity so there was an identity crisis then right thus legalizing homosexuality in india so in 2018 uh, it was legalized okay so the amendment uh, that uh, uh, ruled the section 377 it was then considered as an as a crime uh, as an illegal activity uh, the court explicitly overturned its 2013 judgment okay it was then decided in 2013 that it was considered as a as a crime uh, as a, as an illegal activity etc so in 2018 they got uh, another uh, direction and uh, uh, a, a historical verdict okay had been uh, done now uh, let's go to the uh, poem lee mokob so is that person is a black uh, uh sorry <laughs> he or she that's a question here so um, uh, for the sake of your understanding uh, uh, he uh, is a black uh, poet uh, see uh, let's begin with uh, his uh, court as a performing artist it is uh, my duty and passion to be able to document life experiences and to speak up against just injustices as a slam poet that uh, that's really important uh, this is a slam poet uh, who explores uh, social injustices and gender identity issues i'm dedicated to shedding light and inspiring change through my art forms so uh, a person was it that person was a performing artist uh, and it is a uh, uh, that person's duty and uh, passion to be able to document life experiences and speak up against injustices. So that person was an activist uh, and uh, who was a slam poet who explores social injustice and gender identity crisis, right? Of course, he's a transgender. And uh, uh, that person was dedicated to shedding light and inspiring change through the art forms. Okay, and uh, uh, that person was a TED speaker, uh, a great activist uh, in, in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. This is clear. So let me tell you the, something about Lee Mokob. 
is an award-winning slam poet, is a content creator and creative director. Uh, Mokop uh, is a TED fellow and a DARP creativity scholar. Uh, they are also trained traditional healer known as uh, Sankoma. They're the founder of uh, Vocal Revolutionaries as a nonprofit organization focused uh, on empowering creative American youth uh, using digital art. Uh, Lee is also an LGBT activist that is important. LGBT activist specifically uh, referencing their experience as a black transgender. Uh, yeah, you got the point. He's a black transgender immigrant in South Africa and America. So these are some of the points, uh, some of the important uh, points about uh, Lee Mokop. So he's an award-winning uh, slam poet, a content creator and creative director. He performed in TED, you know, TED speeches, right? And so uh, another important uh, terms like LGBT activist, of course, is a transgender immigrant, a black transgender immigrant. So since he is uh, like that, since he's a transgender, uh, he has faced uh, several problems, okay, uh, from the society or in the society. So these problems uh, are um, uh, detailed uh, in the poem. Uh, so uh, the poem, in fact, is a uh, uh, can be considered as an autobiographical one, right? There you'll have lots of uh, uh, lots of bittersweet experiences of uh, the poet or the author. Got it? So Lee Mokop was born in 1996 in Cape Town, uh, so he's so young, uh, South Africa. He's an award-winning slam poet and a founder of, uh, so for at the very younger age itself, he uh, was uh, uh, acted as a, uh, so he acted as a founder of Walker Revolutionaries. Uh, in 2015, uh, Lee came out as a transgender male, transgender male. Now he works as a teaching artist across the USA. Uh, he is a political activist who criticizes the black, sorry, lack of free, uh, freedom of uh, expression in South Africa. The poem titled The Not Yet Burning Country was written against the extreme right-wing politics of Donald Trump, the president of USA. So he is an active uh, critique, uh, is an acute critique uh, to some extent. Uh, he's, a, uh, he's an activist. Uh, that person was an activist, uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, see, uh, the person has written uh, the poem titled The Not Yet Burning Country. That was against the extreme right-wing political Donald Trump, the, uh, the president of USA. So uh, the important uh, fact is uh, in 2015, uh, he came out as a transgender male, got it. So there he suffered uh, a little bit of uh, uh, bittersweet experiences uh, uh, or uh, he had some little bit uh, or bittersweet experiences. Uh, uh, his life was not a smooth uh, sail, of course, uh, as far as this uh, this political stance is taken uh, into consideration. Got it? So through queer advocacy, they have been published several times, including alongside Barack Obama and uh, Harvey Milk uh, in loud and proud LGBT speeches that inspired the world. That uh, this is... These are some of the activities of that um, group. Uh, their works and art uh, are taught as a part of university and college curriculum all across the world, just like this poem, right? Lee is currently working uh, on a co-founder creative art platform known as Other Street, uh, where they uh, present uh, storytelling and uh, advocacy for marginalized groups in Africa. So that uh, yellow uh, letter is uh, pertinent here a marginalized group okay marginalized group in africa so since uh, uh, he's marginalized uh, since he's defenestrated uh, from the uh, forefront of the society uh, since he's an lgbt activist uh, uh, he has faced uh, several problems uh, uh, throughout his life uh, uh, so that uh, uh, what what can we say <coughs> that heart trending experiences or uh, uh, the very bittersweet experiences uh, you know, can be detailed uh, or may be detailed in the poem. Uh, to some extent, we can say this poem is uh, an autobiographical poem of uh, Lee Mokop. And it was a very famous, it's a very famous poem. 
since uh, uh, he's got a chance to perform this poem in TED speech. Okay, in a TED speech. Uh, you'll get it uh, in YouTube. Got it. Okay, so before we go to the, uh, before we go to the poem, uh, let me give you uh, some examples of uh, what transgender poems. So there's an, another category uh, in recent uh, uh, literary field. Uh, it was a trend uh, recently. It was a recent trend that uh, the transgender poems and the transgender poets, right? Their uh, their uh, uh, expressions, uh, their experiences, uh, and all should be considered or should be taken into consideration. Got it. So this is uh, coming out by Matthews. Unspoken words, years of silence. It is time to spread my wings to embrace I am transgender. See, they are proclaiming that, they are claiming that I am a transgender, that they want, uh, they, they want to emphasize or they want to you know, find out uh, their identity or uh, existence so that uh, they need to, they need to find out or they need to you know, proclaim it that I am a transgender, just like I am the daughter of the land of Travida. So it is time to spread my wings to embrace I am a transgender. So unspoken words, years of silence. So the uh, the experiences or the harsh criticism uh, from the society, the years of silence, right? Uh, years of a very uh, pricking silence, uh, uh, very stark silence, stark realities. So they have faced all these things, uh, all these years. And it is time to spread my wings. And now it is time to spread my wings that I want to explore myself, to embrace, to embrace this world to be treated as a common person, to be treated as a, as a normal person. And I am a transgender. I am a transgender. Got it. So this is the uh, poem, in fact, uh, uh, just an example. So uh, let me, now it's uh, your turn to find out uh, some uh, examples or uh, some poems like this, uh, uh, because, um, it will add the uh, information, it will add the understanding or comprehension of your um, of your attitude towards gender that, uh, so that's important. Okay, so uh, let me tell you another thing that uh, uh, before this, uh, uh, so do something uh, right now. So this is an assignment for you, it's just to find out uh, as far as possible, uh, just find out some examples of transgender poems and, uh, and read that and um, find out the common tone in it, a uh, common theme in it, got it. What are they trying to say and what are the, the, the structure and uh, their themes, etc. Et got it. So, Let's stop. I'll uh, give you uh, the poem in the uh, next class. So uh, before we come to the class, uh, please read the entire text. That's really important to read the entire text. Got it. Then come and attend the class. Okay. So thank you.